Good afternoon, everyone. We are very sorry for the five minute delay. Welcome to the Humanitas program. Humanitas program is an initiative by the Department of Medical Humanities, Humanities Society and Professionalism stream to discuss matters related to health and society, which may have a moral, ethical, emotional or legal impact on our lives. Today, the theme of the Humanitas program is together in this world, a glimpse into the world of animal welfare. To start this program, we will first go on to an interesting video. And you can guess where it is situated. So those are our rabbits at the Animal House here at the Faculty of Medicine, University of Colombo. And to discuss about this video and more, I now invite Dr. Taranga Thoradenia, Senior Lecturer at the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Taranga, welcome to Humanitas. Welcome. Welcome everybody, thanks Santusha. Uh, so, Taranga, first of all, let me ask you, what is this video all about? Yes, so um, in that video, you saw some animals captured um, in cages. 
as well as some free animals. So actually the two rabbits that you saw in the quadrigal outside, that is within the medical faculty Colombo, uh, were two rabbits used for some experiments in our animal facility. So these animals were used to raise antibodies for some experiment. And then uh, when animals are used for experiments, usual practice is to sacrifice them. But um, uh, we actually didn't do that. So we are continuing to care for these animals. And uh, I wanted to see uh, when they see these animals uh, in their premises in the Faculty of Medicine. So it was really uh, lovely to see how students uh, reacted. So, and, uh, uh, so we actually uh, thank uh, the students. Uh, yes. We thank the students who consented for their videos to be uh, view, uh, to be showcased here at the, uh, the Humanitas program. Uh, so Taranga, so this is a sort of a social experiment you have done to see what kind of uh, emotions will be evoked by the animals in the students. Uh, so to move uh, forward, can you tell me what is it that we mean by animal welfare? Yes, so animal welfare means how an animal is coping with conditions in which they live in. Um, so if I am to explain a bit more, um, like us, animals too want to be happy uh, when they are provided uh, with the essentials for their well-being, they will be happy. And uh, when they have the opportunities to express their natural behavior, they will be happy. So you saw how animals react when they're caged. Um, they have their natural intrinsic behavior. So rabbits behave in a different way and dogs will behave in a, another way and uh, rats will behave in a, another way. So like they have their own ways of behaving. So if there is opportunity, uh, to express their behavior, like the rabbits want to run around. So if they have the space and the, uh, a safe environment to run around, they'll be happy. And uh, if they have good nutrition, and if they have uh, good care, veterinary care, where to take care of them when they're sick, they'll be healthy. And uh, also we don't like to experience uh, uh, or suffer uh, from unpleasant states like pain, distress, or fear. So similarly, animals also don't want to suffer from these un uh, unpleasant states. So if they are not suffering from these unpleasant states, we can say that we, uh, the animals are in good state of welfare. Uh, Taranga, you are, uh, before you became an academic here at the Faculty of Medicine, you are a veterinary surgeon by training. Uh, when you were a student, uh, did you feel the same way about animal welfare that you do now? Um, yes, uh, we love animals. Now, from childhood, most of us love animals. Yes, I did love animals and I wanted to learn more about animals. So uh, one reason why I uh, chose to do veterinary medicine. But uh, to be frank, we were concentrating more on our training, Santoshya. So like uh, we had to practice surgeries and, uh, you know, uh, we need to know like how, how to cut open animals during surgeries. And I remember once that like, uh, I was staying with my aunt and she had a female spent uh, nine pups and uh, I was so thrilled because we have now nine pups to uh, uh, I mean chop the tails off because tail docking was a practice then I'm talking about uh, 20 years back so uh, now certain animal species let's say like if you take cocker spaniel uh, the practice was to dock their tail or remove their tail to get their uh, appearance that's for cosmetic purposes so uh, we had nine pups and i uh, called nine friends we were in the final year uh, doing our appointments surgical appointments so like it was a very good opportunity for us to uh, practice tail docking in these pups and thinking back now if i was in the same situation like uh, how i care for animals now uh, i would not have done that i would advise my aunt not to chop the tails off these pups because it's there for a purpose. 
and we are just chopping it for cosmetic purposes. Yes, Tananga. Uh, so you have met him off uh, along the way uh, as you mature. Uh, so now tell me, as a researcher here in the Faculty of Medicine, uh, how is animal welfare connected to scientific research? Yes, so uh, as I started now, animal welfare uh, is when an uh, animal is happy, when the animal has everything the animal needs. So in ex experiments, we try to uh, simulate what we, let's say like we want to test a drug. And finally, we want to test this, uh, whether that drug is effective in humans. So we can't first do the experiment in humans, we have to do it uh, uh, in vitro in the lab and then uh, use animal models to see whether this drug is effective. So if the drug to be effective, now the drug has to be tested in a normal physiological uh, status. So the animal has to be healthy and uh, the animal has to have normal physiological processes. But uh, as medical students, you all know that different external stimuli can affect the physiology and the biochemistry of everybody, animals, humans as well. So if the uh, animals in the lab are under stress condition or in distress, stress, uh, like when the stress continues, it becomes distress. So that can lead to changes in the physiology. So the entire physiology and the biochemistry will be affected. So we may not really see what we expect to see is we use stressed animals or animals in pain to do our experiments. So in one way, it's going to affect your experiment and you may, may not get the real results that you want to get. And on the other side, we are causing the animals to suffer, to undergo pain and distress. We, we don't want to be under pain or distress. So similarly, animals also don't want to be under pain or distress. But for certain aspects, we have to, uh, uh, there is no alternative at the moment, right now, for certain experiments to do certain uh, yes. to prove certain yes. Yes. scientific uh, aspects. Yes. So, uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, in this uh, environment of uh, conflicting uh, emotions, conflicting uh, ethical dilemma, uh, how do scientists find the middle ground? Do they always agree? Do they disagree? Uh, 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 is there a polarization of views about animal welfare even among the researchers? Uh, yes. So, being um, a member of family, try to come to the middle ground. So unless it's really necessary to use animals in the of animal research, because there are alternatives. Like first we can do studies in the lab using test tubes or like other ways. And uh, there are cell patches. Or we even now have the organoids. We can grow organs in the test tubes. So you can use organoids and there are other alternatives like organ on chips and then uh, Computer simulations are there, which can simulate certain conditions and environments. Uh, basically, the tissues right. and means have the alternative. You should, uh, if you have the alternative, you should always go for that alternative, non-animal alternative. If not, and if it's really, really necessary. Now, if it's just producing a PhD thesis or just a paper, why should you sacrifice animals for that? Right. But if it's having a great impact on the society or humans or animals, then if there's no alternative, then only research.